As I was preparing for this video, you know, getting all the cars together that I want to show in the background, all the comparison cars and all that, I realized just how many characters have wielded a checkered flag in the past. It's kind of going to be the theme for the video. We have Dexter Hoover, who may be the most iconic because he was the Cars 1 flag waver. Now, of course, moving movies to Cars 2, you have Eric Lanley, who has this wimpy flag. Like, look how small that is. For how big of a car he is, his flag is just garbanzo. Look at this guy. He's got a massive flag, and he is just a little pity. Of course, then the Cars 3, we have Chris Revstopsky. This is the Chinese version before they changed her model. And then the one that no one really thinks about is Luigi from the Fireball Beach 4-pack back in 2017. So really cool. I'm kind of shocked. I had no idea that now this is the fifth flag waiver. And it's actually pretty cool. We've gotten the flag waiver for like pretty much all the forms of racing except for the two in the Cars 2 movie. You know, in Tokyo and London, there were different ones. Actually, no, it was... Porto Corso and London that we haven't gotten flag waivers for. But anyways, welcome back to another Disney Docket presentation. Today we'll be taking a look at this two-pack Double Clutch Daily and Dirt Track Fabulous Hudson Hornet. This is the only two-pack of the year that actually includes a new car. So let's savor it. Let's cherish it. And just let's enjoy the heck out of it because this is the only two-pack I'll be unboxing all year. And that is kind of sad. But at least we're getting a ton of new singles. And yeah, two packs deluxes are just taking a massive hit lately. I don't know really why. Maybe stores just aren't ordering as much. But I don't know. Target still has plenty of two packs. I know, I don't think really Walmart does two packs. And neither of them have deluxes anymore. But anywho, you can see Double Clutch Daily there. He's got some nice artwork. It seems like the color's a little off. Especially, you know, when I show him in the movie later on. I believe he's a little bit more of a turquoise color, more of a teal, kind of like Robert Jam Jones, actually. There's Fabulous Hudson Hornet, Doc Hudson, you know, the guy we know and love. Apparently, people are saying this guy's a variant from his last Thailand release, so we'll have to see about that. They do say new for 2021, which is technically only half true because this guy has been released many, many times before. On the back, we have a look at a bunch of other two packs that are all pretty lame and boring. All of them from Cars 3. Of course, this was a good two pack last year. Well, not really. It was Ray Reverham and Laura Spimmel. That was a phenomenal two pack. And unfortunately, now it's Jackson and Laura, which is kind of lame. You have Speedy, Common, and Parker Breaks, and that two pack's even been released before. Although I think they accidentally put Manny Flywheel in the pack last time. Oh, no, they didn't. No, they just put the wrong artwork, which they did again, I believe. These guys have been released before. These guys, this one's pretty popular, but yeah, all re-releases. So yeah, I'm very happy that at least we got something in the two-pack world because it seems to be waning as the years have gone by. But anyways, I'll be right back with this opened up. So here they are out of the package, and they look really cool. I'm very impressed with Double Clutch Daily, DCD. Pretty cool looking car. Super happy to have him. He's got a lot of jounce to him. Really, look at him go. Look at a little bouncy, jiggling, little, little pity. I like that. So anyways, we're going to show them in the movie. Obviously, Doc, you guys know where he appears, but there he is. He just won the race. He beat... Leroy Hemming, he just flipped over him, and Double Clutch Daily is up there, you know, waving the checkered flag. Now, there is this other scene, of course, when Doc crashed. Who knows if it's Double Clutch Daily himself, or maybe just another pity, but he's got a red flag there, obviously, because of the crash. I would not be surprised if Mattel releases that, if they call him Double Clutch Daily, or if they just call him, you know, something entirely different, but... I would not be surprised because they seem to be doing every color in the book for Chris Rostopsky's flag. And obviously they did that pretty much with Dexter Hoover as well. So we're going to just do a quick little look here at Doc. I've already reviewed him. I'll leave a link to 
my review of him with Jet Robinson, that two pack in the description below and card session pop up if you want to check that out. It does appear that the color is a little different. First and foremost, expression might be a little different as well, but nothing too different for me to want to call it a variant just yet. Twin H power. Both of these say dirt. What do they say? Dirt. Track racer. Fabulous Hudson Hornet. I'm not really seeing anything too substantial yet. The dirt looks very similar in how it's placed and distributed. Hudson Hornet on the roof 51 four times. You have the little Hornet badges here on the back. I don't know why people are calling this a variant. If anybody knows, please let me know. The windows are all still a plastic piece. Chrome bases. Hmm. Yeah, I just don't really get it. I don't think, I wouldn't call them variants. Like if I was the guy, I would not call them variants. Now, which one's new here? N48A. So yeah, this guy was made in the 48th week of 2020 at the A factory. This one that came with Jet Robinson. Oh, wow, look at that. Almost two years to the day, but it's two years, two weeks. I guess two years to the week. This doesn't specify the day. Yeah, the 46th week of 2018. All righty. So that's enough with dog. Oh, by the way, I might as well show you guys the Chinese version of this. This is one of those that I much prefer the title and expression. Just, he just looks so robotic. The eyes are so small. So I do prefer the Thailand version. I also like the color blue. It's just a little bit more vibrant. This is a very dark, almost purplish blue. Thailand actually wins in something. The metal also is just so much glossier. It feels so much smoother. It actually feels a little bit more expensive. This seems a little cheap. Also, see how those taillights that's not painted around them silver? That's actually a really nice touch that Thailand did. I'm impressed with that. All right, we're gonna just set those aside though and focus on DCD here. See if we can see his mouth. Because with Robert Jam Jones, you know, he actually didn't really have a mouth. Hmm. Uh, it's in there it seems, but yeah. Two pities in a row now that are basically mouthless. Very strange, very interesting. So yeah, his forks are all kind of squunched up there to hold this, and it's not removable. I'm not going to try. Doesn't look removable. This is not a sticker. It is printed on there. This is a plastic piece, and so is the fork, like, lift itself, but it's very sturdy. I mean, not sturdy, sturdy, but, like, it's flexible. It'll stay on there, though. It's not going to fall off or anything, and I love that it's not a sticker. Other than that, he's a pretty basic pity. He's got this little barrel up here. Now, real life forklifts do have stuff like this. It's kind of like, I don't know, propane, some sort of fuel for him. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not very in tune with forklifts. That's really not my thing. Not my specialty. He was made in the 50th week of 2020. Wow. And Doc was made the 48th. What? So are you telling me that Doc was made two weeks before Double Clutch Daily and yet they ended up in the same two-pack? That is mind-boggling. boggling. I don't know how that works. Do they just sit on it for two weeks and like, all right, put it over there. We'll come back to that once we make DCD. That is so strange to me. It's kind of weird though. I knew Mattel likes to put on that code, like the date stamp there, but they did not with my Robert Jam Jones. They did not find a way to cram it on like they did here with Double Clutch Daily. He's got a little vent here in the back too, but that's a plastic piece. See how this plastic piece kind of like travels around the fenders there. The only metal part is this blue and then the window cab portion there. So a very light car, but what do you expect with pitties? Gray rims. He's just got so much jounce to him. That is a real word, by the way. That's like the derivative of 
acceleration or is it the derivative of jerk? I'm getting into some intense physics right now. You go from speed, I know, no, 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 there's position, velocity, acceleration, jerk or jounce, and then the other one. So if you ever take AP physics or something like that, some intensive physics course, you guys will be set. Just absolutely prepared you. All right, let's see how DCD holds up with some of the other flag waivers. Now, I think for being the smallest of all the flag waivers, his flag is probably the biggest. It seems like it's almost as big. It's probably the exact same size as Dexter's here, which is kind of cool. Which probably means it's the exact same size as Chris's. Pretty much, pretty much. Curves in the same way. We must always be blowing in just such a exact way at all times. Eric Langley's just like such a joke though. I'm sorry, buddy. Like you're just gross. Like, how does he have this wimpy flag? This thing's four times the size of that. And Eric is four times the size of Double Clutch Daily. I don't get it. It looks bigger in the movie, like on Eric Langley, it looks bigger. I don't know. And then here is Luigi and his flag, which is really cool. I love this guy's expression, which reminds me, I still need to open up my racing star Guido and Luigi, which has this basically same exact car with a green flag. Mattel really loves to change their flags to get an extra buck. Change up the flag, call the new release. We're set. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. As I kind of close out here, I'll compare him to a couple other pitties, but he is, you know, a unique model. There's nobody that is similar to him, in my opinion. I think he's kind of standing on his own. He's the first pity to ever have that thing. His cap is very small. There's not much overhang there. Under like Robert Jam Jones, who has a massive cap. Just want to take this moment to thank you guys for watching my videos as of lately. I know I've been pumping out a ton of them. I guess he's most similar to like Alex Makino. Short hat. I don't know. They both have a lot of jounce to him. But yeah, I appreciate it, guys. Like, it's been such a fun time releasing these daily videos. It's been a grind, though. Like, literally, I work so much at the country club. Like, I'll be there almost half the day, if not more than that. Like, literally, I'm not even kidding. I'll, like, caddy in the morning, which is, like, four and a half hours. Then I'll have, like, an eight-hour shift in the bag room. And then I come home and do some videos, edit them. And it's just been a grind. I'm surprised I've been able to honestly keep up with the schedule. Like, when I made this schedule way back while I was at school, I was like, there's... I don't know if I'll be able to hold up with this. Because I, I really hope I can. But it's just a little unlikely that I would be able to hit on all of those days you know and so far i've actually released a video every day i know i missed a double upload one time but i still have basically released a video every single day and so you know, i hope you guys have been enjoying it thank you for the support lately and i will strive to continue to do the same thing got the little 1950s pissing cup squad going here and yeah thanks again hope you enjoyed it i will see you soon for another one bye now